Broncos, this is Ms. Aston. I want to take a few minutes today to show you how to access our library's ebooks and digital audiobooks. So the question I have for you is, do you want to read or listen to library books on your iPad? A lot of you probably said, yes, you would like to do this. I have a solution for you, and it's called the Follett Brightwave App K-12 Edition. I know that's a long name, but if you search in self-service for Follett Brightwave, you'll find the app that you need to download. And through this app, you're going to be able to access our eBooks and our digital audiobooks. Notice the different icons. Ebooks work just like a real book. So you're going to see words and pages, and these can be downloaded, and you can read them at any time. You don't have to have a Wi-Fi connection. Audiobooks, on the other hand, are read to you. You won't see words on the screen, and audiobooks at this point do require a Wi-Fi connection. At a later time, I'm hoping that the app will allow you to download audiobooks, but right now, we do need that Wi-Fi connection. The app, again, is called Follett Brightwave K-12 Edition. It looks like this and it will be in self-service for you to install. So let's look at the app. I'm going to go ahead and open it. And the first time you open the app, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. I need to select my location as Texas. And then I need to type in my school name. I'm going to type Coppell, and some different options will pop up. I'm going to select Coppell Middle School East. Your username for this app is just your school username and your school password. So your school username has three letters and four numbers. That's what you'll type. And your password is just your normal school password. And I'm going to tap stay logged in so that the next time I come to this app, I won't have to type all of this again and I'm going to log in. It might take a few seconds for this app to synchronize with our Destiny system, but once it does load and everything is synchronized, you're going to see a screen that has three options. You can search, you can look just at eBooks, or you can look just at audiobooks. If you know the title of the book that you want, search would be a good option. But a lot of you are probably just wanting to browse to see what ebooks we have available. So I'm going to tap on ebooks, and this will allow me to scroll through and see what ebooks we have. I can also search from this screen. So let's say I'm done browsing and I really just want to know if we have an ebook called When You Reach Me. So I've searched and I found a couple different options. Remember the icons. This green E means it's an ebook. This speaker means it's an audiobook. Well, I'm interested in the ebook. If I tap on the title of the book, I can read a quick synopsis right here. Or if I already know I want to check out this book, I can just tap check out. So far, everything we've been doing in this app has been under the My Library tab. Well, now that I've checked out this book, I need to go to the My E-Reader tab. This is where my checkouts will show up. I do need to synchronize, and the e-book that I just checked out, When You Reach Me, will show up. I can open the book, and I'll get a message that says, do you want to download this book? Downloading the book is a good idea so that you can read this ebook anywhere. You don't have to have a Wi-Fi connection. Well, downloading a book takes a couple minutes, so I'm not going to go through with that. I am going to go back to my library and back to my original search. What I checked out is an ebook. If I wanted to check out the audiobook, I would tap check out. and I can go to my e-reader and synchronize my checkouts again. 
and I can see that I have this book checked out as well. I can just play this book and listen to it when I have SSR time. So I hope that using this app will be beneficial to you and that you'll be able to find some great books that we have in our library. Again, this is for ebooks and digital audiobooks, the Follett Brightwave app. If you have any questions, please come to the library to see me on Mondays, Wednesdays, or Fridays. See you soon.